Hey guys, it's Silver Stacker HD, and today I was going to show you how uh, neodymium magnets interact with pressures and metals. So we all know what most magnets do. They stick to certain metals like iron, and they just attach and stay put. But when we're dealing with these neodymium magnets, they are incredibly strong, and the metals that we are trying to identify with them aren't directly magnetic and they are also not completely unmagnetic but they have a strange property with the magnets where they create electronical eddy currents between the magnet and the metal which slows down the magnet as it passes over the material so it just slows it down it doesn't you know it doesn't stick and it doesn't not stick at all but the problem is that these magnets can interact this way with copper, aluminum, and a lot of different types of metals. So it's definitely not an end-all be-all to making sure you have gold and silver and other precious metals. I found out that it does react with copper just like it does with silver and gold and platinum, palladium, rhodium. So it's questionable whether it's usable here we can see this is a plated bar that I accidentally bought on eBay when I was first getting into silver and it slides down this one just like normal so obviously if you have a scale and this you're far ahead these are the neodymium magnets I can show you where you can get these if you still want them I was actually gonna make a video about how these can help you find precious metals exactly but then I found out that it sticks to the copper here we are looking at neodymium magnets which you can buy on eBay and other places but they're so cheap on eBay that it's not really necessary to look much farther so you can get about 50 of the ones that I have for less than two dollars and during the economic collapse people are gonna need to be able to find out whether their silver and gold is real so these would almost certainly increase in value so there's definitely a wide variety of uses for this and it's best to get a bunch of them you'll probably lose some and like I said you can trade them off what we learned while making this video is that these neodymium magnets can help separate precious metals from certain metals like nickel tin and zinc but not from other metals like copper and aluminum. Thanks for watching my fellow silver stackers. Be sure to subscribe so you can catch up for more and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.